Hey friends, it's Mrs. Murphy and I'm here for a little phonics and grammar lesson. So last week we learned that when you add the letter S to the end of the word, it can make you have more than one of something. For example, I have one pen, but if I add the letter, the letter S at the end, I get the word pens and then I have lots of pens, which is awesome when they're my favorite type of pens. But I want to make sure I didn't confuse anybody. When you add the letter S at the end, it only makes it more than one if you're talking about a noun. A noun can be a person, place, or thing. All right, let's talk about other types of words. There's a word called a verb. Can everyone say verb? Good job. Verbs are things that you can do. So for example, I can dance. Y'all know I love to dance. Or I can sing like we do in our morning meeting. Those are things that we can do. Well, sometimes when you're talking about something that somebody else does, you can add the letter S at the end. For example, if I was talking about myself, I could say I dip my feet into the water. But if I was talking about somebody else, I might say that Kylie dips her feet into the water. Okay, so the word changes when I talk about somebody else. Let's try another word. I could say, I nap on the couch. Oh, I love a good nap on the couch, don't you? There's my word, nap. But if I was talking about somebody else taking a nap, I could say Trinity naps on the couch. When I'm talking about somebody else, I need an S on the end. Here's another one. Um, let me think. I run on the playground. But if I wanna talk about somebody else, I need to add that letter S. I could say gift runs on the playground. Let's try one more. I tap my foot to the beat. Or I could say Riley taps her foot to the beat. When I talk about these verbs, things that people do, I need to add the S if I'm talking about somebody else. All right, friends, that was just a quick lesson today to clear things up and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.